loyalty. I ain't no loyalty without love. Sometimes I wonder if this how it's supposed to be. Cause hey guys, it's your girl Sajay Christmas. I'm coming to you and you with another World Street segment. Sorry for the bad lightning. You know, it's a work in progress. Yes, I've been saying it for two years now, but hey, it's a work in progress. But anyways, we're just going to dibble and dabble in this Real Housewives of Atlanta season 11. I think episode 16. It needs to be season. Let's be done with this. Like, I'm so tired of this season. Hell, this, all the storylines are very diluted and boring. And um, I'm just... I'm done. Okay. We thought we can bring Nene back to spice up the um season, but she just she's draining me literally. She's draining me. So basically this whole episode was really about Nene. I mean, they dibbled and dabbled into Candy doing her little dungeon thing and stuff like that. Okay, so was Portia, you know, telling them the truth, the truth. And um Cynthia, she came with her <sighs> We ain't even gonna. I, I, mama said, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Okay, so shout out, mama. Uh, I'm not gonna say it. I just don't know what she thought she was doing, but she thought she was doing a damn thing. But baby girl, no. Um, but let's just go fast forward to Nene and her bi week party. Um, yeah, everybody was coming in there natural, whether it was pressed out. Okay, or a little kinky curl going on. But Nene, you know, dag gone well. Dag gone well. <laughs> that show hair was a wig. It was not your real hair. I'm telling you, if somebody plopped their hand on your head and pulled it up a little bit, it would have came off. And you probably would have had staffing cap under it. I'm telling you, it was not a wig. It was rising, y'all. It was rising. You know, hair, it lay down. You know, <laughs> natural look, hey. You know. But whatever, whatever. So, um, Nene have her meltdown about uh Marlo and I just don't even know where she was going with this. Like, uh and Marlo she went having it. She was like, You know what, you you gonna have your meltdown? I'm gonna take my ass on home or do whatever I gotta do because I ain't got time for this and I'm gonna with Marlo. I what? So of course. And then did y'all see that scene where <laughs> Candy got up? I thought I'm thinking she going over there to console and comfort Nene. I don't know where the hell she was going. She got up and the camera shot was gone. And we got back to Nene and we see of course Cynthia and Portia and all the other girls consoling her. But I, and then she comes back in the shot. I'm like, what the hell? Did she go take a pee break or did she go eat something? I don't know. I just wanna know if anybody else knows that. And let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna fast forward through all the other stuff with uh Ronnie DeVoe. Is that his name, Ronnie DeVoe? From uh New Edition. Is it New Edition? Yeah, New Edition. Um, his wife being a little nasty nasty on a freaky freak with uh Eva. I'm I'm like, girl, you might as well just open her legs and go on downtown. Like she was and then she threw up on the baby girl. And she, she, oof. So we get to, um, Nene again. You know, she wants to be distanced from the party as she has her meltdown. That I think she just wanted attention because nobody was giving her attention at the time. Especially not her husband. Because he's going through what he's going through, you know. And so, of course, Cynthia and Marla went up there and they talked. And Cynthia was like, well, I'll let y'all talk and blase, blase. And came right downstairs. And Candy was like, <laughs> it's been real. I got to go. I've been here since 3 o'clock p.m. And here it is 9. You want me to work a 9 to 5 over here and I ain't getting paid? <laughs> so, Candy and Portia go upstairs and the rest of the girls follow, of course. I think that new girl with the big booty, light skin, I think that's Eva's friend. She um she was already up there. They was talking and Eva was up there because baby girl, Ryan DeVoe wife, 
done threw up on us, so she had to get dressed, you know, get changed of clothes. So we get up there, you know, talking, and Candy was like, oh, I done made it all the way upstairs to your closet. You know, you be bragging about you got this fantastic swag closet, you know, and stuff like that. Yes, darling. And I'm like, okay, I want to see, you know, I actually get to see. So she go and Marlo being the instigator, she is gone ahead, girl, go in there. And Nene like, no, you better not go in there, you know. Now, all that. So they take their happy asses on back there, Candy and Portia, because Portia was like, oh, you know, I want to see too. And this and that. So she go back there. And they, it didn't seem like they was like, oh, shh. You know, did they find a roach like Kim daughter did or whatever? That whole incident. They was, you know what I'm saying? This is nice. This is nice. But when the camera guy. You see? You saw, you saw that. When the camera guy went back there, she, she got up like the Incredible Hulk and yanked his ass. And was like, uh-uh, you ain't going up in my territory, okay? I did not tell you to film that, and I don't want you to film it, okay? Yeah, they can go in, but you can't. But then when she got on the Andy Cohan show, what's happening live or what's ha whatever, how that she go, she had a different tune. And I'm just thinking she's just over exaggerating. Like, what did you really have in your closet? It's really none of our business. But then again, you are on reality TV, as they call it, which is really not half ass scripted. But um, we're raw with it. Yeah, but she had a you know, little attitude. So let's hear what she got to say. And y'all tell me y'all thoughts about this episode in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next Square on the Street. You said to them several times, don't go in the closet. They, exactly. How can you be on anybody's side? They went in the closet. Side of the owner of the house. Well, but did you overreact? <laughs> no, I did not. How are you going to overreact in your own home? If I tell you to visit me and sit right here, you need to sit right here. You don't have the right to go through my house and open up my doors, my closets, my pantries, none of that. You would feel disrespectful. And the one thing these girls have, they are disrespecting each other's homes when they visit them. Sheree's house was disrespected. Kenya's house was disrespected. When you come to my house, you're not not going to disrespect my home okay so they you... were not in the right because you can't come in someone's house first of all they weren't even invited upstairs they just came upstairs on their own what do you want to say to the audience who 82 percent are saying they're they're on their side i don't give a damn who said they are <laughs> i don't give a damn about this poll Okay. No, I don't give a damn about that poll how are you gonna be on their side they didn't have the right to walk in my house and do whatever they want to do so your poll um, that's okay. how it's going to be. You don't, I, I couldn't come to your house and do whatever I want to do. Can I just run in your house and pick up Benny Boo? No. <laughs> okay, well, so let's be clear. You, you can't come into my house. You can pick up Benny Boo. You've no, been I just very can't run all over your Boo. house. If you say, look right here, you just, I don't have the right to just run all over your house and do stuff. They were wrong, and I don't care about the damn poll. You wrong. Until you pay my mortgage, you are wrong. Okay, Kelsey Lynn said, was there something unsavory in Nene's closet that she didn't want shown? on TV, her reaction seemed too extreme for someone just hiding a messy closet. Was it just that it was messy and you said it five times? I don't even know why I have to explain anything in my house. If I tell you that you can't go in my closet, you can't go in my closet. Um, Marlo, did you think that Marlo instigated them at all? Because she was saying like, oh, just go in, try on Yeah, I didn't know that stuff. she had said that though. I'm addicted to you like a drug and I don't know what you want from me But I'm trying to be the best man that I could be Me and you are something special I just need you to see Put them pictures in the album, email